Shalom, everyone. Uh, this week is, of course, Shabbos Agadol, uh, but I want to give a short thought on the Parsha itself, which is sometimes overlooked, and this is Parsha Sav, uh, the second Parsha in Chumash Vayikra, which continues once again with a discussion of Korbanos, and I had mentioned in Vayikra, but I'm going to be marich a little bit, that there is a fundamental machlokas, the Rambam and the Ramban, what is the significance of Korbanos? After all, does Hashem need meat? Uh, does Hashem need to be bribed? And uh, the Rashita Sarambam in the Mora Nevuchem is that intrinsically Korbanos are not spiritually beneficial, but we were very, very attached to idolatry and to Avedah Zara, and part of Avedah Zara was the ritual and the ceremony of Korbanos, not only animal offerings, but even human sacrifice, <clears throat> so if HaKadosh Baruch Hu were to wean us away from that type of ceremony, we wouldn't have been able to separate. So as a concession to the idolatrous impulse, HaKadosh Baruch Hu matered korbanes. Ramban has many, many questions on the Shita Sarambam. After all, we find Adam Arishan brought korbanos, mm-hmm. Hevel brought korbanos, Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov brought korbanos. We pray for the coming of Mashiach, where the Karbanos are going to be reinstituted. We pray in Musaf. How is it Shaykh to say it's merely a concession to Avaidah Zara? If that's the case, we're better off without Karbanas. So the Ramban says it's Vadaya Dover Pashut, that the Karban is very beloved, but it's not beloved because HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants meat. It's beloved because Al Yedei, the Karban, I become transformed. I realize by every single pu'ula that's happening for the korban that there but for the grace of God would go me. And as a result, I change. I do tshuva. I become submissive. I obliterate my egotism. And that is what it means that the korban is a reyach nichayach to Hashem, a pleasant fragrance. It doesn't mean the meat itself is a pleasant fragrance but it means the mahapecha, the transformation of the person, is a reyach nichoach. The emesis, kama v'kama meforshim say, that the Rambam is vadai maida to the Ramban, and the Rambam and the Mora Nevuchim were giving reasons that were accessible to people who were rooted in rationalistic Greek philosophy and did not necessarily understand mystical and symbolical ideas. And indeed, as someone pointed out to me this week, the famous Rambam at the end of Hilchos Tamura, where the Rambam talks about the deep spiritual meanings of mitzvahs of Hashem, the Rambam actually gives as an example korbanis. In other words, it's almost muhrach from the Rambam himself in Hilchos Tamura, that in reality he is moda to the Ramban, but in the Maira, Marina Buchim, he gave a tam that would be niskabel to people who are not yet spiritually understanding of deeper mystical meanings. Be it as it may, the Meshech Chochma wants to be machadesh, a peshora, a compromised position between the Rambam and the Ramban. And he wants to say that there's a chiluk between the korbanos that are brought in the Mishkan or the Beis HaMikdash, in which there is a spiritual kedusha and a transformative power, in other words, like the Ramban says, versus the korbanos that HaKadosh Baruch Hu permitted at various times in our history on a bama. A bama is a private altar. So we find, for example, after Mishkan Shilai was destroyed, we were allowed to bring Bamais. And then even after the Chorban base Bayas Rishain was destroyed, according to many opinions, we're allowed to bring Bamais. Bamais are private altars. When there is a base Amikdash or a Mishkan, you're not allowed to bring a Korban in a Bama. That's the Chi of Kares of Shechut Echutz and Halabachutz, either Shechning a Korban outside of the Mikdash or bringing a korban. 
But when there's no mikdash, generally speaking, bamais are permitted. The exception is going to be today. I'll get to that in a moment. So says the Meshech Rachma, the spiritual transformation of the korban is only in the makam kadesh. But the heter of bamais, when we don't have a makam kadesh, that's simply a concession to Avedis This is the pshara that he makes between the Rambam and the Ramban. And based on this Chiddush, which again, neither the Rambam nor the Ramban says it, it's really the Meshech Chachma's third daya, he wants to explain an interesting halachic anomaly. And that is, as I said a moment ago, generally speaking, when there is a Mikdash that you bring korbanais, Bamai Saraser. When there's no Mikdash that you bring korbanais, Bamai Sar Mutter. That was true after the destruction of Mishkan Shilai, and it was true after the destruction of the first base on Mikdash. So the Kashe is since Bisman Hazes, since the year 70, we have had a Chorban Bayashani. So why can't I bring Bama? Why can't I bring a Korban on a Bama? Why are Bama's Osir, and this is a Beferish Eshita and Taisus in Masechus Megillah, that even if the Kedusha of the Makam HaMikdash terminates and we can no longer bring Korbanos in a Beis HaMikdash, the Bama's are still Osir. The Chaira, that's inconsistent with the pattern after Shilai. And after the Chorban Bayis Rishon, says the Meshech Chachma, if we understand that the Heter Bamais is only a concession to Avaydah Zara, Mimela, the Gemara tells us at the beginning of the Bayis Sheni, Ezra and the Anshei Knesset Sagdaila were mispalel, and they took away the Yetzir Hara for Avaydah Zara, because it was so powerful we couldn't fight it. So by the time of the Chorban Bayashani, there was no Yitzra the Avaydazara. So says the Meshachachma, if by the time of the Chorban Bayashani, there was no Yitzra the Avaydazara because it was Nisbatel at the beginning of the Bayashani, there's no longer a justification for Bamais. So after Mishkan Shilai, Bamas or Mutter, there was a Yitzhara of Avaydazara. Even after the Chorban, by his Rishain, Bamas were mutter, at least potentially mutter, because there was still a Yitzra the Avayda Zara. But by the Chorban, by his Shani, the Yitzra the Avayda Zara was already Batel. So even when we lose the Makam Hamikdash, the Bamas remain Osir. Nevertheless, we still pray for the restoration of the Beis Hamikdash and the reinstitution of Karbanais. Because then, it will not simply be because of the Yitzra the Avayda Zara, it'll be a spiritual act of self-transformation and self-transcendence. B'ezrat Hashem, in this month of Geula, may we be Zaycha to be as HaMashiach and Binyan Beis HaMikdash, B'mhei Ravi Amenu.